Hi guys, it's Simulsi here. So welcome to another apartment renovation. So today I'm back renovating this apartment, which is another eco lifestyle apartment. And this time I am building here in the version of the world that is more run down and dirty and polluted and all that kind of stuff. But I thought this would be the perfect apartment for one that I saw on Pinterest. I mean, this is like a little drawing, so I don't know if it's an apartment, it's just like an interior uh, drawing, but I thought it was really cute and it inspired me to create an apartment after it. So I'll put a picture of it here on screen so you guys can see what I was looking at. But really it made me think of like a young couple's apartment, like their very first apartment. I imagine they're both just out of university. They just got their degrees. They're searching for their dream jobs, those types of things. Maybe they already have an internship, something like that, but they don't have like a lot of money or anything like that. And they're not ready to start a family. But I did put a couple of like dog food bowls in here, um, thinking that they just like adopted a puppy or something. I thought that would be so cute. Maybe they even haven't like even brought the dog home yet. Maybe they just looked at it and they filled out the paperwork and paid for it. But maybe the dog still has to get their shots or something like that, but I thought that was a really sweet idea. So hopefully you guys will like it too, and hopefully you guys will like the way the apartment turned out. It ends up having one bedroom, one bathroom, and I tried to decorate it to look more like youthful, and of course I was looking at that image, so it was very much inspired by like the layout of it and the colors, especially the tile in the kitchen, because as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, we have that exact same tile in The Sims, so it'd be so easy to create something that looked similar to it, and I just really had fun trying to make it feel um, yeah, youthful. Like I said, I really wanted it to feel like younger Sims had decorated it. Sims who maybe don't have, you know, a lot of money or the ability to buy like a complete matching set of furniture. Like they were able to buy matching couches, but all of the wood tones and everything doesn't exactly match. And I tried to keep the like actual elements to the apartment pretty simple, like uh, fairly simple counters, a simple refrigerator. Uh, the stove looks newer and kind of upgraded, so I imagine whoever owns this apartment complex has gone through and upgraded the stove. Um, I pretty much just wanted to use this one because the blue color I thought was really cute and it kind of matched the couches like perfectly, <laughs> so I couldn't help myself. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was so cute and um, I tried adding quite a bit of clutter around. I felt like having it be like a little bit maybe on the messy side made it feel a bit more youthful. Like these Sims are very busy. Like I imagine they just finished university or maybe one of them just finished and the other one has maybe half a year left or like a semester left or something along those lines. But of course that is um, up to you guys if you decide to play in this apartment and how you guys want to tell the stories of the sims living here but i thought that was a pretty nice idea they don't have an actual dining table um i ended up just placing that bar there with the bar stools so yeah i felt like that worked pretty nicely they didn't need like a big formal dining area for just two sims i mean of course if they have friends over they don't really have a place to eat but i don't imagine they're like hosting dinner parties or anything like that they may have like one friend over at a time or maybe two friends something like that maybe they have like another couple that they hang out with that'd be so cool but maybe they have like an actual place where they meet up like a park or a restaurant or uh their favorite nightclub or bar or something like that that they go to and spend time with their friends so i thought that was like a better idea but uh yeah here i'm just picking out some side tables i decided to use these ones from snowy escape because the proportions are just so much better they're so much like smaller than like 90% of the end tables in The Sims 4, they're just so big. They're like, I feel like if they were in real life, they would be like half the size of a couch or something. They're so big. Um, here, I really wanted to use this side table and I was using the tool mod to lower it down to the next level because I wanted it to look more just like one of those kind of lower tables, if you guys know what I mean. I see a lot of them on uh, Pinterest and it was very similar to the one that was in the image that I was looking at for this apartment uh, But it, it was kind of difficult for some reason it popped back up to like the regular height I'm not sure why that happened and then when I wanted to like move it it popped back up So I just got rid of it in the end and used some um, Cabinets from dream home decorator just because that was a little bit easier to work with Unfortunately though, I think they would disappear when the walls are in cutaway mode, which kind of bothers me. I wish that they wouldn't do that, but that's just how things that snap to walls work. I mean, of course you want that for the most part because that would get kind of annoying if you're trying to see what your Sims are doing in the other room and then all of the furniture is blocking it. So I guess it's it has its purpose, but 
yeah, here I'm just adding this shelf above the TV with a few clutter items on it. I was trying to not decorate it too fancy, trying to make it, you know, look youthful, like I said, and trying to just add clutter items that I thought looked cute and maybe like The Sims would have placed them there. I really didn't think about their personalities too much. I haven't been doing that recently. I don't know what is wrong with me. Usually I'm always thinking of like a specific career or something, especially for younger Sims. But uh, yeah, I didn't really have one in mind for this one. I just imagine that there's a young couple. Uh, maybe they're still just dating. I don't think they're engaged and they're definitely not ready to like start a family because they're still trying to like figure out where they're going to be working and they're probably wanting to get a bigger place before they have have kids or something like maybe they don't even want kids that's totally a possibility too but um they definitely wanted a dog so i thought that was a pretty cute idea and um i like that story but yeah here i'm just adding some clutter to the kitchen um everything in the kitchen should work i did use um a regular counter instead of the corner counter to fit the oven where i wanted to um but the island has plenty of room so your sims should be able to use that for all of their like cooking purposes over here along this wall i had no idea what i wanted to place what i end up placing over here is uh, a washer and dryer just because i felt like that would be a nice use of the space of course you could get rid of it if you wanted something else maybe you wanted to have like an office space but really there's plenty of room in the bedroom like if you wanted to get rid of the walk-in closet and place um, an office space in there but i figured they could do any homework or anything like that at the island they could also have like a laptop in their inventory and use that there too but yeah i placed the washer and dryer and then over here on the other side of uh, the half wall is where I place the dog food bowl and I also use the shelf that has like the leash and collar and stuff hanging from it. Um, so I thought that was pretty adorable and then I do add some decorations up on top of that, just a few like uh, simple things. But here I'm adding the food bowls. I decided to add two of them because I really feel like one should be for water and it drives me crazy that the pets in The Sims 4 do not need water. <laughs> it's like, why do the cats and dogs like not need water? It doesn't make any sense. They'll drink out of a puddle like if it's left on the floor but they don't actually need water to survive. It bothers me <laughs> so much. Um, so I usually place two of them next to each other just to sort of pretend that one has water in them. Um, but yeah, over here is going to be the bathroom. I decided to use a platform just to kind of make the shape of the bathroom a little bit different. And I really enjoy doing that, not only in bathrooms, but in other places in uh, my builds recently. It's been a lot of fun just to sort of um, create sort of like a blocked in area that doesn't disappear with the cutaway mode if that makes sense so uh but yeah in here there's a shower and tub combo the one that came from parenthood and i just tried to clutter up the counters with makeup and bathroom stuff some debug stuff and just trying to make it feel very lived in and just yeah decorated like the sims have been actively using this bathroom and i think a lot of these decorations really make it feel that way like the open uh makeup palette along with the eyeliner uh, pencil and then the nail file which um, you can find all of those in the debug menu and I also use the single dryer that you can find in the uh, debug menu too so it's just like the single hair dryer instead of the one that came from parenthood that stuck to the other decorations I like that one but sometimes I feel like the single dryer just looks a little bit more I don't know kind of uh, kind of more realistic and something i think that works better for this apartment but yeah anyways over here is going to be the bedroom so it's the only bedroom in the apartment so this is the area that i was talking about would be good for a desk if you felt like you really needed one i would just get rid of the walk-in closet and place one in its place there because um yeah there's lots of room for it uh, but in here basically i just wanted to add a few simple decorations of course a bed since it's a bedroom and there's no dresser since I used the walk-in closet. I felt like that was probably enough. Um, and then here I was adding a couple of windows. For all of the windows in the apartment, I decided to use the tool mod. So keep that in mind if you are downloading this apartment. And especially if you're on console, because unfortunately you can't get the tool mod. But I do have lots of apartments where I don't use it. But I just can't help myself. It's so much fun to be able to like come up with different floor plans and be able to customize the windows on the exteriors of apartments. I really hope that we get a refresh to city living and that's something that they make possible. If we could just swap out the doors and the windows to the apartments, I feel like it would be a huge game changer for a lot of different players and it would be beneficial to not only PC players, but console players too. So I think it would be so, oh, so good. It'd be such a good update. But anyways, in here, I'm just adding some clutter decorations next to the side of the bed on these bedside tables. And then I just add some like artwork around and I was trying to really not pick artwork that looked too fancy. I was trying to pick things that looked 
more simpler like it would be easy for the sims to like get and not spend a lot of money on because i was really trying to not make it feel like um they had a lot of money or anything but yeah this is basically it for the apartment i'm just adding some clutter items on these bookcases and then this is it for the build so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one and hopefully you guys enjoy the screenshots so yeah thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and i'll talk to you guys soon bye Sunsets in Boston Kissing yellow concrete We watched all of them together Until we couldn't go to sleep Wish it lasted forever Somewhere I can see the sun